Johnny Marky here, so let's see um, what we need to do next. Another fishing mission over here. Do you have my hat? What are you doing? Going fishing. The river's around here, famous for the smallmouth bass. Fella I met showed me a couple spots. You want to join me? Uh, I can't fish with you. You're far too good. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, join me. I'll show you a couple of my tricks. There's a spot not too far from here that I've been wanting to try out. Glad you're so excited about this. You will be too when you start pulling out smallmouth. Me. I thought you said it wasn't far. Too far to walk, though. No. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Been a while since we rode out, just you and me. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Already seems long ago. How you feeling about everything? Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This, this is nothing exactly new to me. And I'll always be loyal to Dutch. He sees the world the same as I do. If we have to fight, we fight. If we have to run, we'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. And Dutch, you... You don't feel like, well... That he's doing things a little differently now? You saw what happened with that girl on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is won without blood. I know that better than most. I think too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves. What they could have done better. Uh, maybe you're right. Whoa. We'll cut through to the right here. down to the Lanahatchee River, I caught some beautiful steelhead trout. You mean the Lanahatchee mm, River? Trout. No, 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 the, the Lanahatchee. It runs right near here. Yeah, but it's pronounced Lanahatchee. Why is everything in English said differently than it's written? Make us feel stupid? Oh, you're asking the wrong feather. Just down the hill here. Whoa. <laughs> Arthur. Okay, come on. Let's go try our luck. Pretty country. <sighs> Beautiful. Come on, let's go see what's biting. You take this spot, Arthur. I'm going to cast from over to the right there, so we're not in each other's way.
time of day really can make a difference. They feed early morning or late evening because that's when the insects are more likely to be out. Yep. We're lucky, got such nice weather. But rain can be good. Sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects. Okay, let's try for another. Well, I guess it's still relaxing even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Come use some of mine. Oh, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman. Especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of mine. Here. Crickets. Thanks. Bought those at the store. I've seen crickets there at the store all the time, but they were always long. I was thinking, you remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada? Yeah, it was a tip from that crooked lawman in Reno. We opened the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail. Yep. You know, way back in the day, Homo Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends? Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. Then Combs Main Street got meaner and Dutch. Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. And now, here we are. Another one. But like they like go sweet. I heard people talk about a huge smallmouth in Lake Oangila, west of Strawberry. Pray over in Big Valley. You need a lure to catch one that big, though. Another one. Come on. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. You got one. Don't rush it, Arthur. Well done. He's small, but might make a nice meal. Oh, keeping you. It's getting close to nightfall. Fish will stop feeding soon. Let's catch a couple more and then head back. Our bag is getting full. Lucky you. Look at that. 
That's a good looking fish. Well done. You're better than you let on. Pull to the left as he goes right. Just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me or uh can you keep trying for these bastards? I'll come. Okay, let's go. It's starting to get too dark to see what I'm doing. You keep moving. Please. This bastard ain't worth it. Let's go. been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seemed legit to you, Bill. Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Is your name Bill? Anyone? No, his name is Micah. Let's Shut just it. see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And the why did they board in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, uh, that's so. Yeah, they think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these Grey boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying the Catherine Braithwaite. Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you. John! Of course he's dead! How could you not think this was a trap? You should 
How the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go oh, easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. 
Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. And you can fight, but you can't think. You can't Shut do Shut up! <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Bury him proper someplace quiet. Maka! Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. Poor Sean. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. Well, we we buried our little buried Sean, who is like a little brother to us. We can't go back to Rogues for a while. Let's do a Dutch once. Come on, big fella. Let's go see what's up. Yeah. Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's oh, no, my Jack's goddamn missing. son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think. The Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, I... where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you. And we will kill any oh. fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill them! Rest of you, let's ride! Okay, let's go get that boy back! Yeah, nobody touches a hair on Jack! You hear me? Not one hair! We're about to figure out what we was up to, Dutch! Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town! I know! I heard about Sean, too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I, I swear, love this music. I dun, killed dun, everyone there. Dun, 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 Easy, dun, John. Dun, Try to dun, stay calm. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him it's back. It's a bunch of drums. <laughs> I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? You guys are ruining the moment. I'm rocking out to the moment here. I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. 
We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on! Okay, get your heads right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. Now, Jack, we should have stayed out of all of this. A bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Like they don't know we're coming. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck you, families think down, they okay, can John? ruin us. I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? Cowards. I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. Get down here now! You inbred trash! Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this... Dan! Okay. These guys are not messed around.
Where's the boy? Well, we have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problems except by Where gang Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. Uh, uh, what about down? Ah, uh, shut up. Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of our sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here. We searched everywhere, Dutch. Get out there, hag. Get out. I guess that's the end of the game. 
Take the boy, Mrs. Braidway. You stole Boys my horses. Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no oh, rules they're just in horses. war, mister. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are you doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. I ain't going back in the house and burn to death, you hag. It's gonna work that out, John. That was awesome. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She, she'll she kill us all. I know, but looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course, Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Hi, uh, Good day, fine Anderson? people. Mr. Vanderland, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're Agent aware, Moron. but this, this is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man. So in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else you came for me risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love <sighs> ain't that fine <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to kill all these folk dutch just you in that case it'd be my honor to join you Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. 
And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. I am. Darn it. Well, I'm at the end it right here. Cause I don't have. Up, but we need a new spot. See you guys later. Like, share, subscribe, and bye bye.